We got some Week 2 OFL action as the Wes Lunt led Carolina Panthers head to Atlanta, Georgia to take on the 1-0 Atlanta Falcons. Let's go first quarter as Big Ben Roethlisberger. He would be intercepted by Terrence Mitchell. You can't spell intercepted without the D. Big game for Roethlisberger, but certainly not a big play right there. It's on second down and 12 handoff for McKinnon, but he gets stuffed up like Thanksgiving turkey as Jarek McKinnon starting for the injured Devontae Freeman. Let's go third down and 16 as third down sort of a story of this game. It's going to be Julio Jones with the conversion. Now it's going to be Deshaun the Flash Jackson gaining about 30 yards. Falcons have it at the two-yard line trying to punch it in. As Ben Roethlisberger looking to throw it, he will find John Ross in the back of the end zone for a Pittsburgh tut or Pittsburgh, no, for an Atlanta touchdown, and they take the lead. Third down and seven at the six-yard line is Roethlisberger looking deep for Julio hit the stretch. Julio Jones with a gain of 31 yards for former Alabama Crimson, tied with a nice gain. Second down and ten is Jarek McKinnon. He will lose about four or five yards as the defense reads the play like a book. Third down and 16 starting off the second quarter. As Roethlisberger looking to throw it, he would find Mike Gesicki for a rookie out of Penn State for a first down. Now it is a punt here. Carolina is punting it. It was a nice punt as it goes to about the four-yard line, but there is a flag on the play roughing the punter, and that will be a first down for Carolina. But the penalty is on the safety. Don Jones, huge penalty right there. Let's see if the Panthers can take advantage. As a former Illinois fighting Illini, Wes Lent, he would be brought down on first down by Chandler, the Mandler Jones. Now the Falcons have a ball back. Carolina couldn't get any points regardless of the penalty on the punt. As Gasecki fumble! It's going to be the human joystick Cam Cam Bam Bam Chancellor. With the fumble force, can the Panthers capitalize as Wes Lunt? He's going to scramble like he's late on a date, and he's going to bulldoze his way into the end zone. That would be Wes Lunt's first career touchdown. Now it's 7-10 to 10 as Roethlisberger. He would look, and he would find his target. Excellent pass right there. After a nice little drive from Atlanta, Roethlisberger would be sacked on first and goal. Falcons would call a timeout. Now it's third and goal at the six. Can Atlanta punch it in as Roethlisberger looking to throw it and he'd be picked off as it's going to be an interception for Kenneth Aker and the Falcons are unable to score to end the half. What a interesting set of events as Big Ben on second and 11 has all the time of the world and he would find his favorite target, Julio Jones. Now it's third down and six. All the way up to 15 as Roethlisberger looking to throw it. He has all the time in the world. So much time. No pressure is coming after him, but he would be sacked on the play by the veteran Lorenzo Alexander. Falcons will kick a field goal. It's now 13-7. to Another poor drive from Carolina as Roethlisberger. He would find his man Deshaun Jackson spinning and grinning his way to the 49-yard line. It's second down and 10. As Big Ben, he's going to fake hand it off. Ben Roethlisberger, he's going to heave it deep down the field. And he will connect. Falcons kicked another field goal at 16-7. Let's go first, or fourth quarter, I mean, as Wes Slump, the undrafted free agent out of Illinois. He avoids one sack, but he's still going to get sacked regardless. As it's going to be Dayon Buchanan with the play. Now it's third and 17 as Lunt looking to throw it. He has time, and Wes Lunt... He would find Will Fuller, who would fumble. Dayon Buchanan forces and recovers the fumble. And, Car or, and Atlanta would get the ball back. Falcons kick the number of field goals. Now 19-7 as West Lund. He's going to look and he's going to find the speedster, Will Fuller. Nice pass right there. Fourth and inches. The Panthers need a conversion as West Lund is going to be sacked. Feels an open man, but nice pressure from Tyus Bowser as Lund did not have enough time to throw it. Under a minute to go, West Lund has so much time, and he will connect. Nice gain right there, second and 16. The clock is ticking away as Lund, he's going to find Corey Coleman, the former Baylor Bear. The clock is still ticking away, eight seconds left on the clock. Panthers don't really have much of a chance, so you might as well get some points. It'll, it'll be the Baylor Bear, Corey Coleman, with the touchdown 
as it is 19 to 14. The Panthers gonna go for the onside kick. They can get the onside kick and lob up a hail mary, but that's not gonna work. Atlanta recovers it and they improve to 2 and 0. The Carolina Panthers go down to 0-2, and, and let's look at some scores around the league as the Baltimore Ravens unable to win in Cincinnati. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, led by Danny Etling, have a nice 2-0 start, beating the Philadelphia Eagles. Baker Mayfield and Saquon Barkley struggled against the Minnesota Vikings. Big win for the Vikes as our New Orleans Saints lose to the Cleveland Browns 17-14. Deshaun Watson dominated as the Niners win a nail-biter. The Cardinals, a surprise 2-0 team. They beat the Rams. And then the New England Patriots, led by Jared Goff, go over the Jaguars.